Hey guys, listen, there's something I want to share with you all. Listen, there's a lot of you guys that God, uh, Christians, people that are saved, that God has given you something to do. He's laid it in your heart. What it is that he has called you to do. A lot of y'all are just sitting in church Sunday after Sunday, sitting in this auxiliary and that auxiliary, and God has called you to do something. He may have called you to open your own church. He has may, may have called you to go on the mission field. He has called you to do certain things. And some of you have taken the vision and the things that God has given to you to a friend, to a loved one, uh, to your pastors, whoever, because they say, no, you're just not doing it. When you know that God has laid this on your heart. Listen, we're living in the last days. I just said that in my last video. And I say it over and over again. We're living in the last days. We can't afford, you can't afford to keep letting a day go by. Days and days go by and you have not obeyed God and the things that he has told you to do. Some of you, there are things God's telling you to stop doing and you're just still in it. You don't have a lot of time, my brothers and sisters. You know, the enemy is always going to let you think there's always tomorrow. But, but ironically, tomorrow never comes, does it? Let's stop wasting our time and bickering and doing these things that's childish and petty. Get away from things that's keeping you bound. Because guys, the days are evil. We're seeing it. We're seeing people that just went to church yesterday just to go to church and died in church. There are people who are traumatized from church and even if they return, it'll never be the same. There's a lot of you God has told you to do certain things. You're not doing it. Some of you are supposed to have a women's ministry, a men's ministry, uh, 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 doing something for the homeless getting out, witnessing to people. Just, that's the basic we all should be doing, you know? And if you don't know how and you feel shy, ask the Lord to help you. I was kind of shy about it too. And I was like, God, how do I do it? How do I go up to people like, hey, do you know Jesus? You know, I thought it was weird. Not that I was ashamed of the Lord, but how do I approach? And the Lord gave me a great idea. Um, I got on Amazon, which I'm always on there. And God's like, how about you be productive while you're on here? And um, I bought tracks. And um, the one that I like is called the Romans Road. It's very simple. And you know what? All I do, I walk up to people. I take about three with me, depending on where I'm going. And I hand it to people and say, hey, I just want to share with you, um, share with you some good news that changed my life. And I just hand it to them. And that's it. It's not a bunch of, hey, where you at, brother? Where you at, sister? Listen, it doesn't always call for that. But there have also been other situations where I've been able to tell people about Jesus and do more things in depth. You know what I'm saying? But you're witnessing. I leave tracks in the bathroom. You understand? When I give a homeless person food, I, I give them a track as well and tell them about Jesus Christ, right? Because we're filling them naturally. We need to do that. But we also need to tell them about the spiritual thing you know that that where you'll never be hungry or thirst again we have to do that and at the same time sometimes we just tell people both tell the homeless or tell people about God and we don't feed them and we don't help them but guys listen for the sake of time let me get on here and tell you this the times the days are 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 ending the time Jesus return is imminent and it's coming and we can tell by the level of evil and the tragedy levels and just the things that we're seeing the indifference the falling away but you and i every single day have something to do me sitting here on youtube and doing this stuff is me doing what god has told me to do every day doing what god has told me to do every time i go out Doing what God has told me to do. Some of you are wasting time. Some of you are sitting back. Some of you are hiding in a ministry. And just, oh, I'm going to just do this. You can't bargain with God when he's giving you something to do. Guys, don't let your the breath leave your body. Or something happens and you are found to not have done what he's called you to do. You can't compromise. You can't talk God out of or do a bunch of things on this and meaning I'm going to appease God over here and hopefully he'll turn a blind eye to the fact that, you know, uh, 
he wanted me to do, um, he wanted me to go on missions. Don't let man hold you back from what God has instructed you to do. And definitely don't keep wasting time and saying tomorrow. Don't let even your husband or your wife keep you back from doing the things that God has told you to do. There's certain things God has told you to do and they keep telling you reasons why it can't be done and it never comes around. You know, don't let your family, don't let your friends, don't let your job keep you from doing the things that God has told you to do. There are souls that's out there waiting for you. And while God can get it done without you and put somebody else to do it, you're still going to be held accountable for the souls and the people that you didn't witness to. Listen, don't let fear hold you back. It held me back in many ways. I'm like, God, how am I going to do this? When you think about what it is that you're supposed to do or what God is telling you to do, then you're kind of like, oh, how am I going to do that? God, it seems so much. But I remember even with this YouTube channel and with other things that he's told me to do, God told me, if you obey me and just take the steps, then I will do the rest. And he has. Obey God. Stop doing the things that you want to do. Stop trying to make up, but then why? You, stop trying to make up for your disobedience. It's not going to work. A lot of you, God has even told you about doing a home church, starting a church in your home. He's told you to do things like that. He's told you to do maybe a Bible study in your home, and you're not doing it. You're like, I just, eh. Listen, if he has laid it on your heart, you have, you know the voice of God. Get busy. Get moving. You have to take that leap of faith. We can be like Abraham, right? I'm sorry. We can sit there and be like um, uh, Moses. There were so many reasons why he felt he could not do something. You understand? He had all the excuses for why he couldn't and, and everything. And all of us will have fears do like Peter, you know, he followed Christ, but he was in a place where he denied God. We've done that, right? Maybe something kept us from, you may not do it that outrightly, but being silent when you know you should have spoken or saying something that just did not, you knew wasn't the right thing. And so the enemy sometimes try to keep you bound with that and make you feel like, oh, you look at you. Listen, it all comes from fear, fear. Fear, but you have to step out. God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. So we have to step out of our fear, step beyond. And the way that you got to look at it when it comes to souls is that it's a matter of life and death. It's a matter of life and death. You talking to this person that God is telling you when God puts it in your heart to say, hey, you need to tell this person about the Lord or pray for this person and you don't and you ignore it. It's a matter of life and death. Every day it's a matter of life and death. Someone is blind. They don't see. They don't understand. They have been conformed to this world. So we have, an, we have a responsibility. We have a charge to do this and to tell people about the Lord. Somebody witnessed to you. Somebody prayed for you. Someone took a step towards you. Somebody invited you to church. Someone planted seeds long ago, even though you didn't get saved right away. They planted the seed and someone watered and someone uh, nurtured and eventually your heart was open. So we have to have the same thing. It's not about just us and our kids and our family and our man and our women and our husband and wife and ourselves. That, guys, is not what Jesus is about. He was very, very, very selfless. Let's have that same thing. If you've lost it, just pray and ask the Lord to forgive you. Get up and get started. A lot of you, you already planned your vacation for next year. You already planned what you're going to do next year. You're planning what you're going to do New Year's Eve. But guess what? You're still putting God's plans, the things that he's told you to do on the back burner. Get up, get started. God will take you the rest of the way. All right, guys, don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Peace out.